Hello and welcome to Arnold Mills United Methodist Church's video series exploring different types of Christian prayer. We're calling the series Pray Always, Pray Always. My name is Arlene Tully. I'm the pastor of Arnold Mills United Methodist Church and I welcome you. Today I'd like to talk about praying with mandalas. Uh, the word mandala just means circle in Sanskrit. A mandala is a symmetrical design within a circle, like this. Mandala art has been used throughout the world and among different religions as a spiritual discipline. Some psychologists encourage clients to sketch or color mandalas as a form of self-expression or as a stress reduction exercise. Creating mandalas can be a kind of contemplative prayer. You know, while many people think of mandalas as a, a Eastern religion tradition, it's also widely used in the Christian tradition. For instance, the, the beautiful rose windows that you see in Gothic cathedrals are an example of a mandala. Uh, many of the beautiful illustrations of Hildegard of Bingen were mandalas or um, the labyrinths that you find in Christian churches or in the churchyards of, of Christian churches are essentially mandalas that you walk through. If you're like me, a sort of left-brained, word-oriented person, sometimes it's good to let the other part of your brain do the praying to leave the rational, logical, worldly part of your soul and your brain and rest a while in a place of, of, uh, that's full of colors and images and symbols and silence. Sometimes prayer can be built on colors and tones and designs rather than on words. If you're not skilled in drawing or painting or sculpting or any of the other creative arts, mandalas might be just the medium for you to try more right-brained forms of prayer. While you can certainly compose your own mandala designs, most people start with pre-drawn uh, designs and simply color them in with crayons or colored pencils or markers. You know, there are mandala patterns available for downloading all over the internet. You can print them off and, and use those. Or there are a number of different um, mandala coloring books that you might use. Some people choose to assign colors, um, particular meaning, uh, make the colors symbolic. For instance, black might stand for mystery or darkness. Yellow might stand for, for God or for light. Blues might be representative of the water of life or refreshment. Uh, greens might be growth or life or discipleship. Reds and purples and orange might represent fruit, you know, the outgrowth of our faith. Or brown might represent groundedness or centeredness. Personally, I like, um, just sort of being much more random about my color choices. It feels as though being that purposeful about the color choices um, and what they symbolize, it, it, it seems like more of a left-brained approach. So I, uh, instead of choosing what colors to use very consciously, I usually just let my mood dictate what colors I use or I let the spirit move me. It's entirely up to you how you choose to use the colors. Mandalas can be used as a part of other kinds of prayer, like Lexio Divina or the Examen, which we talked about in earlier videos. Somehow the activity of coloring um, helps you to let go of other distracting thoughts. Or you can simply use mandalas as an, opportun an opportunity to rest, uh, to listen to God, to express your your feelings to God wordlessly as you create this art. And so uh, to do the exercise, you would set up a comfortable area to work. You might want to light a candle or 
play some soft music. Use whatever medium you're comfortable working with, whether it's colored pencils or colored markers or crayons or watercolor paint. Um, use whatever you're comfortable using or whatever you have on hand. You can use um, any type of paper, but if you think that you might want to keep or display your artwork, you probably want to use a, a better quality paper, perhaps even a heavier art paper. So sit quietly for a few moments, invite God to be a part of the process as you create your mandala. As I already mentioned, the simplest way uh, to use a mandala is to color in pre-designed patterns. Just do a, a Google search for um, printable mandala, for instance, and you'll, you'll see all sorts of websites that have um, designs available for you to download and print off. If you do choose to create your own mandala rather than one that's already printed, begin by lightly drawing a circle on a piece of paper. You can use a compass if you have one. If you don't have one, just choose any circular object that will work. And You know, a, a dinner plate would work. Um, draw a pattern inside of the design, I mean, a, a design inside of the circle, either lightly in pencil so that the lines won't show, or you might choose to, to do your, um, your design in very bold outlines and so that the outline will show when you color in uh, the inside of the, of the line. If you do draw your own uh, mandala, the starting point is often some kind of loosely geometric design. You might use the, the, a design that's suggested by a flower, like the daisies of a petal or uh, it could be a spiral beginning at the, at the center of the circle and working outward. Um, you can use uh, symbols that have religious meanings like a cross or a triangle or a dove or a trefoil. Um, you could just draw in a spontaneous way like doodling. Use whatever pattern, shapes, symbols, etc. Um, whatever expresses your feelings. When you're using a, a pre-made mandala or you've you designed your own, color it in with whatever colors you feel moved to use. And when you've finished your mandala, uh, spend some time reflecting on it. You know, what might the patterns or the, the colors symbolize? How did the exercise make you feel? Why? What does the mandala say? to you? What does it say about you? What does it say to God? What does it say about God? How do the patterns or the colors represent where you are on your spiritual journey? As you end your time, give thanks to God for this time of creativity and prayer. And one more suggestion, um, drawing mandalas is a kind of visual journaling. And so if you plan to keep your mandalas, make sure that on the back or even on the front somewhere, um, record the date. So if you revisit it later, um, it, it's as though you're going back to your, your prayer journal. And so you'll know what sequence you drew your mandalas in. So I hope that you'll um, enjoy a little bit of adult coloring. Uh, find some mandalas that speak to you or design your own and let that uh, shape your time of prayer. As always, if you have any suggestions or questions, uh, please do be in touch with me. Uh, you can reach me at uh, pastor.amumc at gmail.com, and I look forward to hearing from you. God bless.